Welcome to Network Nuts. My name is Alok Srivastava and in this video I am going to show you how to backup and restore your IP table configurations. For this particular video I have a virtual machine installed here and I have some couple of rules already configured in my IP tables. I can view the listing of my IP tables by giving the command IP table hyphen L capital L. If I give this command, you can see there some rules are already been here. But I personally don't like this command as it shows me the name of the services. What I personally like is that instead of giving hyphen L, I normally give hyphen L hyphen N. Hyphen N means no name resolution. So now it is going to show me the port number which I personally find very easy to manage. So I had added a one more rule here say IP tables hyphen I input where the source is say 172.24.0. say 13 hyphen J reject means I, d I don't want any communication from this IP though it is not a meaningful rule I'm just writing a rule here for the video sake so I had added a rule here and we all know that after adding or doing anything in the IP table we need to give a command service IP table save. What this command will actually do, this command saves all the IP table configuration within the same hard disk in this particular file. So if I just show you this etc sysconfig IP tables, it has got all the entries or all the rules here. That is very good and these rules are available across the reboots means if I reboot the machine these rules will be available to me after the reboots. But what will happen if somebody does a F here for flushing the rules. If I or my junior had accidentally removed all the rules and then he had given this command service IP table save. Now this is the output you will have everything is gone you are back to square one and the best thing is that you don't know what you had configured for last six months or one year how to solve this problem so the best thing is that to take the backup of your IP tables and keep that file onto your email address upload it or take it in the pen drive take it home or keep it in a secure at a secure place or a location but let's see how to do it fine I'll just add some rules here input where the source is 172.24.0.0 hyphen p is the tcp hyphen hyphen destination port is 21 hyphen j except I am actually making adding the rules to allow the FTP communication from my range of IPs so as we know that FTP works on port number 20 and 21 I am allowing both the ports that's great and I am I also wants to stop anybody from my network to use SSH so I know that SSH works on port number 22 so here I make it reject I had to do the same command for the UDP that's great and I do a service IP table save bingo if I give a IP table hyphen N, fine, I have my rules appearing here again. Welcome back. Uh, but in case somebody again give this command, so to avoid that situation again, what I will do, I, I will take a backup of my IP table. I will give the command IP table hyphen save and then any file name. You can give any file name. So here I give my rules. So I have got a file here, my rules. This is the file. I copy it in the pen drive or I attach it onto my email address. Do whatever you want to keep this file at a secure location. Fine. Now, after I, I had taken the backup, somebody does a flush again and he had also done a save. So I am again back to the square one. I don't have anything now. But you are saved. Your job is saved because you have that my rules file. You can download the file from wherever you had kept into your hard disk and then just simply give IP table restore input from my rules. Very simple. And just give a service IP table save. And if I show you now, you have your rules back again. So that a very small command is there to save your life and your job also. I hope you had liked it. Thank you.
and see you again